What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. Raising Cane's is one love, crave old chicken finger meals. I actually met the owner, Todd. Oh, he's the best. Um, yeah, the best. And I met Drewski. So I didn't know Drewski had canceled on us. Like, he was super nice. I think we'll get him on. It was bad timing. Austin actually asked me, he's like, did you know Drewski canceled? I'm like, no, I didn't. And then I guess Drewski, what did he ask you, Austin, if I knew? Yeah, we were talking about that. And he was like, did... Dave knew I canceled, and I was like, he knew at one point, but I don't know if he remembered. He I don't even know if Drewski knew. But anyway, super nice guy. Todd's a super nice guy. Uh, saw him at the LSU game. They are the best chicken fingers. It's full And he was with Theo Vaughn. So it's a good crew of guys he was rolling with. It's football season when you're heading home from the game, head into Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Cane's Chicken Fingers sauce, the perfect way to feed your post-game appetite. Uh, they're also opening one, like, walking distance from my house here in Miami. Can't wait for that. Raising Cane's is the perfect meal while you're watching your favorite team. Grab a tailgate at 25, 50, or 75 chicken fingers to feed your hungry fans at home. If you haven't had it, Got to check it out. Get your Canes fixed fast by ordering through their app or online at RaisingCanes.com. BFF's uh, special guest, Mike Malak, return a guest. Good guest. So we're just going to go through headlines. Now, I'm not going to go crazy on this first headline that I just see here because I didn't know it until I just sat down. But the first headline, did you hook up with Ava Louise? Bro, this is a while ago. Right? Well, there's a clip of you finding out about um, Ava and Mike. Because we talked Me. about this when, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, show the clip. This is old news, though, right? Super old news. Like, I remember seeing this in a why, vlog, why like, way back in the day. Awesome. I thought it was, like, Big Mike or whatever that had the scandal with Lana Road. I think that was just Mike, though. If I'm, we're thinking about the same thing, he was talking to somebody who was live streaming, not, like, physically, like. No, with, no, it was it was I DMing got, a girl I thought, in, in New York where he, he got his, his dick sucked. Yeah, I thought it was Ava, he got his dick sucked Ava Louise. Yeah. Ava Louise, right? It, Ava Louise? it was not fucking Ava Louise. But she can't I think be Ava I thought it was. Ava Louise. I think it was Ava Louise. Is, according to who? Ava Louise? That sounds right. Does it sound right? Can we can we <laughs> yeah. fact check that? All right. Oh, this, my uh, God. Yeah. Disgusting yeah. that I'm even <laughs> looking at Ava Louise giving her a side of any. Ava Louise is the biggest lying piece of shit in the history of the universe. Mike admitted to it. He said that she was nonstop chasing him, and then he was just horny. So he was like, yeah, come suck my dick in, in the hotel. Yeah. Like, she was following him everywhere, like, to clubs. I want to puke. This whole thing. <laughs> uh, Ugh, I want to puke. This girl makes me literally, like, ill. <laughs> like, what do you want me to say, bro? I had your back there. <laughs> I, I, I was. That's how you have somebody's back, by the way. <laughs> I just bet, bro, back in 98 or whenever that was, yeah. I was, I was, bro, I was a week, bro. Like I was having a week night, bro. I was out in New York. It was four in the morning. And I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Listen, that, that, that situation did cause me some like irreparable and lasting uh, issues because a lot of people thought that me and Lana were dating because Lana had said that, we, yo, you were in a relationship. We're in a relationship. We weren't dating. Logan has talked about this at length. My close friends have talked about this at length. Me and her were not dating yet. I I made a, a, a mistake as a man, had a, a weak moment and hooked up during a time when I was just starting to explore hooking up with a different girl. That upset her. And, you know, it is what it is. And, I mean, bro, like, I really got nothing to say about that situation, dude. I look, I, I have no, I have no animosity. See, the thing about me is I don't hold, like, uh, grudges or animosity towards people. I just hope people get better. I hope people get so better. You think that, I should just you know? start thinking people got better who tried to like fuck? No, but I think we all should. Ruin bro. my life. Yeah, yeah, I think we all should, bro. I think that's a. I think I, I hate to say that, but I think it's, <sighs> I, bro, Dave. Let me put it this way: the amount of the, see you monetized it. You're an expert. You monetized your your shit talking and your battles with people, and that's why you're a fucking great at what you do. But for the average person, spending time on hate and grudges against other people eats into the time that you could be putting into productive projects that actually make you money. You've monetized it, so you're smart. But for me to go out there and be like, I don't fuck with this girl. Dude, this girl is on airplanes licking toilet seats during COVID, bro. I, she she has an issue. Like like she does have an issue. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Like, like I hope she finds help. I hope she finds like Jesus, finds peace, whatever she's got to find. Maybe I've been in LA for too long, but I'm gonna meditate on it, and I wish the best for her. Bro. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. sticking with her, 
<laughs> she said, bl- <laughs> well, she said, she said, she said, Black China, she said, Black China tried to sex traffic her. That's a headline. It is a headline. It's on the sheet. Bro, and, and LL Cool J tried to take me against my will to a fucking Mets game. Who gives a shit? None of these stories are real. None of it's who cares? Who gives a fuck? She's so, just going to say whatever she wants to say to get fucking attention. That's okay. a fact. I agree. I agree. She's the worst. As as French Montana said, when the hate don't work, they start telling lies. Mm. Um, <laughs> ours. Who's Lana Rhodes' dad? Is it is it is it Blake? Not baby's her dad. dad. Her for real. baby's dad. Her no, baby's dad's got to be Blake. Not Lana's no, dad. Her baby dad. Not her baby daddy. It's got to be the baby. Looks exactly the like baby him. looks like Blake. It's got to be Blake Griffin. Bro, bro, what makes you think that if I wouldn't answer this on impulsive, that <laughs> I love the FFs, Don't get me wrong, but like. I, I I got dude when when they're ready to have that when people are ready to have that conversation like they can go ahead and and, and do it I can't I, you know do you By think the way, they ever if, will do you think they'll ever say who it is I think I think eventually like it's just gonna what do they say the truth always comes out you know what I'm saying so I think eventually that that story presents itself I I'm not I'm not gonna be the one to do it I'm so fucking happy for that girl dude she she loves the kid and 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 you know it's really it's really gave her a, a new purpose in life and you know she spends all her time with them and and you know i, I said this on, on on soap show but i'll give it to you first i mean because you'll put your episode out first but she hit me up you know in the days leading into those hookups and was like yo like I, i'm letting you know like i'm gonna go talk to someone else like like if we're really done and this is not gonna work out and you don't want to do this i'm gonna go have sex with someone else i said yo please Please do what you have to do to move on with your life and to do the things that you want. I knew she wanted to start a family and look at her now. She's got, well, she doesn't have a family, but she got a kid. She got a, a half. She's like halfway there. there. That's she's there. halfway. She that's a family. Half family. Yeah, that's a family. Yeah. But yo, I'm was... happy for her. I still, I still talk to, to Amar Amor all the time and, you know, we're, we're, we're uh, very cordial and, you know, I wish nothing but the best for her. I think it's got to be. The kid's got to be. I mean, it, it, <laughs> I don't know how genetics works, but I mean, the kid looks. Exactly so like him. much I mean, like Blake Griffin. Exactly like him. Um, he's a we'll cute ass baby. A, we'll see yeah, if he's is. got a three point shot or not. Yeah, if yeah. he's like six four. Uh, Mike teams up with Ethan Klein to make new BFF. This is old. I saw this a little bit ago. No, I'm not mad about this. It it's you. a little. It's kind of a little stab in the back because Ethan kind of talks shit on us. Ethan all the time, hates. Yeah, Ethan hates us. Does he hate me? I, I, he, he, he changes his mind. His biggest issue, and that this is what always gets him mad, is I really don't know who the fuck he is. So that, like, he <laughs> talks about us, and then we we mention it because he's doing this with Wittick and 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 Mike wearing the hats, and so we yep. talk about it. But I. I really never knew who he was till he was involved with uh, Trisha Paytas. Then he got mad at me. I made fun of it. But I, outside of mentioning him, I never see – he's not in my world at all. I, I never – No, separate – yeah, separate universe. I mean, Ethan is a is a mainstay and a long, uh, you know, standing member of the YouTube commentary yeah. community. And getting millions and millions and millions of views for as long as, you know, I've even been in the space well well before that. And – um you know, he, he, um, I, I, he does listen. I think everybody, I think anybody that you put in a commentary position on a live stream for three hours a day is going to get some things right. And is going to get some things wrong. Um, I did find myself on the same side as him in several, uh, um, discussions and debates that I felt very passionate about, which, which was, which was reassuring. I mean, things that there's a lot of things that come up nowadays and we're seeing one of them here with Kanye that are just so clear cut that you're either on the right side or you're on the wrong side. And when I found myself on the right side as him on, on just certain discussion points, I was, I was open to the idea of, because you have to remember he, he was extremely vocal against me. I've gotten more hate from his audience and from him and his uh, show than, than Dave has by a landslide. So that was another moment for me to go and say, yo, listen, like, this is stupid. We don't need to do this. We we agree on a lot of topics. Let's just sit down and have a discussion. And I'm I, I'm kind of here for that kind of stuff lately. Just You're like down. Gandhi. Yeah, for real. Motivation. What you You're like Gandhi. Yeah, I, I like to think so. Like I said, I've been in L.A. for a while. I think if you had spent more time out there, too, you'd probably be doing ayahuasca, sitting in little circles with people on rugs and meditating. You know what I'm Maybe. saying? That's what L.A. Maybe does. That's what I should do to settle <laughs> Some down. drum down circles and whatnot. That'd be pretty chill. Um, You and Logan hate Andrew Tate. Um, not at all. I, you know, that, that show has been very contentious and 
honestly, I'll just speak for myself. I, I, I don't know that I did the best job on that show. It was an early morning in London. We had just flown in. I was in really, really bad shape. And we tackled a topic that is extremely fucking complex that gets oversimplified online. And um, I, 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 lately I've just been really tuned into this idea that, that free speech should not be impeded. But I do believe that since the beginning of time, people have found the right ways to say things that were uh, complex or, or, or would, would drive divide. There's a right way to say things. And, and there's this, there's this fucking whole situation in that community. And Andrew's talked about it on his podcast with his brother multiple times about how I flipped on them. They originally in the beginning very much liked me because I would, I was sarcastically posing as this massive Andrew Tate fan. Andrew Tate's taking over the world. They're going to have action figures in every store. There's going to be Andrew Tate dishwashers. I was doing a very sarcastic take on it when everybody knows behind the scenes, I didn't fuck with his approach, but they, the internet is extremely gullible. They thought that I flipped flopped on Andrew and his brother when things broke and accused me of being a matrix, a matrix agent that is being put to work by Susan from YouTube, because she said, yo, if I'm going to pick anybody, it's going to be the ex-crackhead who fucks porn stars to represent YouTube's <laughs> interests, right? So so, so there's been this huge thing. But listen, I, on that show, the one thing that I want to put out there is I, I am everything that I have in my life is a result of second chances and, and comeback, right? And I was a piece of fucking shit, dude, for a lot of my life. And I believe that everybody deserves a second chance. I'll sit here once again and say, I just don't believe completely in, in how he says a lot of his stuff, but I'm sure a lot of the stuff he says has merit. And so I probably didn't do the best job of messaging it properly. And I, I certainly don't believe in, in censorship without the uh, ability to get a platform back. If you start to, to kind of, not be so divisive. I just, I, I hate the world that we're living in where everybody wants to flame each other, make people feel like shit and divide. And I don't know, it, 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 it's not great, but at the same time, like, I don't believe anybody should be stripped of their ability to speak. So I, I, you know, yeah. I, I once for Andrew, I hope he, you know, he, he finds out a way to get his message out there in a way that's a little bit more acceptable by today's society. I don't know. I, I, I certainly what, what, did, what did he say here? He, he went on a podcast and said he won it. He won every argument with us. I thought, I didn't think that was the case. I'll give the game away. I'll give the game away to the entire YouTube world. Why I've destroyed absolutely everybody in any debate ever. I say things that they know are true and that they agree with, but I say it in a way that angers them emotionally. And they get caught up in their brain because they're saying, he's saying the truth, but I'm pissed off by how he's saying it. So I want to argue with him, but he's right. So instead of saying men are physically stronger than women, I'll say females are weak. No, what do you do? Females are weak. Well, females are weak. Females are weak. Men are strong. Females are weak. No, no, but females, are, but I'm right. And he knows how long is this but he's mad now. And so is she, and they sit there and you'll happen, you happen on Dave Portnoy. You end up having a whole group of people sitting there trying to argue. Well, some women are strong like men, trying to argue the fact that women are as strong as men physically because I've emotionally controlled them all and upset them all. And then I do a podcast and I get billions and millions of views and unlimited likes against good debaters like Dave and his little crew by just emotionally controlling them. Well, it's an emotional game. Didn't we prove him? Of, didn't we prove him talk huh? about O'Malley. O'Malley <laughs> at one point had like said something stupid. I, I thought, yeah. uh, I thought it was 10, 9, Remember, 10, 8, yeah, 20. we did the IQ thing where he was like just completely yeah. wrong about the IQ shit. But I, didn't I saw I, I saw also, that clip, Dave. You 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 did a great job with that. You you simply because he he said some stuff that you went and looked up, and it just wasn't factually correct. Right, yeah. it was actually completely fucking wrong. And so so one, he's not always right. He he's basically saying right there, like I speak simply in facts, which is not the, which is not the case. A lot of his stuff is subjective and based in opinion. But back to what I was saying, he basically just said exactly what I said, but tried to turn it into a positive. No, since the beginning of time, people have spoken in a certain style with couth or whatever they feel is needed most to absolutely win in a debate and be successful in society. Simply saying whatever the fuck you want, whenever the fuck you want, has not proven to be a winning format or a successful format. And I think that and I think that people are are, are starting to learn that now it's it's. Just because you can say shit doesn't mean that if you say it in an un 
popular way, you're canceled as a result of like, I, I've just been very confused by this new approach. Yeah. Does I, that, I, I, no, I, I lost you. I'm going to be honest. I lost. You. Okay. Let me, let me, let me. I kind of know. I mean, I, I feel like a lot of creators are taking the approach like Andrew Tate, like Sneeko's doing. Is that kind of what you're talking about a little bit? Want to be polarizing? Yeah, I'm, I'm coming from a, coming from a corporate background. This is the most simply way, the simplest way to put it. Dave, you definitely can relate to this. Sometimes you have to say something that is going to be extremely unpopular with the person you deliver it to. But when delivered properly, even the harshest criticism can be accepted and turned into positive action. If you don't deliver things the right way, yes, it's going to fuck people up. You don't then play on the fact that they're emotional. You need to work with the fact that people are emotional and figure out how to work with those people. Yeah, I I don't think that's what Andrew Tate's doing, though. No, he's doing the opposite of that. That's what I'm saying. That's his, oh. his his plan is to simply say what he says and piss people off as much as possible, which right. is not a winning format. Right. But it's winning for him in the sort of what he's trying to do, which is just create. Yeah. And like if you're and if you're debating with someone. Itself, right. All right, guys, quick commercial break so you can manage your music business all in one place with Two Lost. Two Lost is a worldwide music distribution for independent artists and labels, and it's made easy. So Two Lost offers unparalleled control over your music catalog. With Two Lost, you can release your music to all major platforms as often as you want, whenever you want. And it also makes collaborating easy so you can seamlessly add payment splits for each release and automatically pay your team and collaborators. So you can monetize your music in over 250 plus stores and services and it's super easy to get started for free today at twoloss.com so every week two loss will be giving five random new artists to sign up with the link in the bio a hundred dollars cash you can take control of your music at twoloss.com every week two loss will be giving five random artists who sign up the link a hundred dollars cash so make sure to take control of your music at twoloss.com did travis scott cheat on kylie jenner this i'm pretty deep in this story i've read a lot of it What's Have you guys followed it? So basically, there's I find this. it so weird, Dave. The stories that you end up getting deep on, and then the stories that sometimes pop up on it's headlines. It's got to be what like, ah, Silvana's into, right? Yeah, it's got to be what Silvana's yeah. into. 100%. Bingo. I woke up to this. She she was she was two hours deep into some yeah. philosophy going down. So I didn't know who the fuck Young Sweet Row was until two days ago. I didn't know if uh, Kent, Kylie, and Travis Rowe are still together. Travis, Travis Rowe. Travis Scott <laughs> was still together. In fact, I'm not a Travis Scott fan. You know that, Mike. You invited me in Vegas. You're like, Tra- Travis Scott's playing. It's like, oh, no, dude, I'm out. I'm not going to that. Yeah, and, and since you didn't you go, I didn't get it going because no one in my group wanted to go to it. Evidently turned out to be one of the greatest shows. We had a table, be it with like a 30,000 hour table that was given, given to us for free. I Man. didn't end up going to it either. I don't know who... Um, Alyssa Rowe is. I, I don't know what I don't know anything about any so, of that at all. Here it is. Young Sweet Row. This is like a decade old almost. It, it she is. She has yeah. been basically linked to Travis Scott primarily through pictures. So like Travis Scott will post something. She will post from the identical background. Like she'll be in a casino in Vegas and people will be like, oh, that's the same carpet where Travis Scott is. Oh, he's on vacation. Same She's time and there. place, too. Paris, Paris, <laughs> this, that. I guess there were rumors that's why they broke. Are they still together? Kylie and Travis? Yes. She doesn't really talk about it. She, I he- guess they split at one point, supposedly because of her. Most recently, what set this off was Young Sweet Row posted a picture at on a music set or a director set that Travis Scott was at. And again, kind of played dumb. And then Travis Scott went on Instagram and posted basically, it's a lot of weird shit going on. An uninvited person was sneaking photos on what was supposed to be a closed set while I was directing a video. I'm saying this for the last time. I don't know this person. I've never been with this person. So please stop with the continuous cyber games and the fictional storytelling. Then young sweet Roe replied to that. Do we have her reply? He's going full denial, eh? Full denial. All right, all right. Okay, so what we're not going to do is we're not going to lie on me because I've been good. I posted whatever fucking story you guys wanted me to post. I pretended I didn't know you, went along with whatever fucking narrative you guys wanted to, no matter how much like bullshit I got from it. But to say you don't know me and you've never been with me, when you've definitely been with me, when fucking everybody's seen you with me, when I have pictures and videos of you with me, 
Or like even fucking this Valentine's Day. I saw you. I ran out the door. And you had every single girl I know blowing me up. Like Trav's asking for you to come back. Are we pretending that didn't happen too? Like, come on. You cheat on that bitch every single fucking night. The whole fucking city sees it. Don't do this. And I was invited to that video shoot, you guys. I would not, go I personally do not go anywhere unless I'm invited there. I don't know. All this stuff is stupid. The internet doesn't matter. And I hope you guys just remember that. Like, none of it is the real world. The only person the internet is the real world is for Miss Jenner because that's how she fucking eats. So do you believe her, Dave? Or do you believe Travis? Here's where I'm at with that. Here's what? where I'm at with that. I know, Mike, you're going to say kumbaya. Who cares? Everyone get along. <laughs> oh, I, let's let's yeah, hold yeah. hands and go and just sing. Some ayahuasca and seven shit. Marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. I think maybe they hooked up 10 years ago. Maybe. And she's turned into a stalker. What stuck out to me uh. is she said she's she's trashing. She's saying um, Travis got to liar. He knows he's lying. She's trashing Kylie. I have pictures. I have videos. Well, you're where posting pictures every two seconds. Where are the pictures? Yeah. Post where, where is the smoking gun? Because you're releasing everything else. You're posting pictures left and right. Are we mm. supposed to believe you're somehow holding that back out of like kindness? So yeah. put up or shut up. Where, yeah, where, remember that? Have, remember that girl that hooked up with uh, who was it? Was it Edelman or Amit? Who was it back in the who day? Who posted she the took, picture in bed? Who yeah. took the yeah, Snapchat yeah, yeah. with him yeah. sleeping next yeah, to her? Yes. That's what you need. Yeah. That, yes. that looked like to me, bro. That girl looked like a, a Spanish Ava Luis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she, mm. she's just out there, just like trying to get some, trying to get some. And the funny thing about her was, the thing about Ava was she was not she bringing it back up, but you guys brought it up. She would always well, say you, shit. Well, like, you brought up Ava. We didn't bring no, up Ava no, here. No, That's on you. you I mean, That's on you. You, up <laughs> you are the one thinking about what it. What I'm saying was this: the one thing she always did was say like, "Yes, everything I do is for clout." That girl just put out a whole statement and then said. Also, guys, the internet is like totally not real. Right. And but why are you posting that? Why, and are, why you are you trying to post the exact pictures he posts at the same time? Yeah, that's why she's full of shit. If you had it, we know about it. And also, and I don't want to judge a book by a cover. I assume Travis Scott can get pretty much any girl he wants. Probably. This girl is an interesting look. She's like a broken down, like Volkswagen version of Kyrie. Hey, you see, you haven't That's spent what enough, I was thinking. You haven't spent enough time out there, bro. Those, those like, those like constraints on like, oh, that girl's not hot enough. Like, bro, like you got to be a, to be a 10 year relationship. Oh, oh, that's what she was. I sorry. I tuned out after she opened her mouth. No, like, have she, you seen she, like her pictures? <laughs> have you seen her pictures, Me? Dave? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She looks good in pictures. Uh, you don't think so? I checked it out too, and I kind of I had the same take as Dave. She looked I feel like, like a her dollar store version look of the Kylie. Same. Yeah, she uh, well, dollar store like version. They have a similar though. vibe, but they, it's they're like fake uh, looking. They're both very yeah. like fake, but one's a lot faker looking, and it's it's not Kylie. Yeah, right. Moving on, uh, Dixie addresses Noah Nyla situation on the Demello show. I feel like that was forever ago too. Yeah, I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> remember, remember, uh, Dixie got in that little spat with the oh, one girl. Was. Yeah, it just came yeah, out yeah, though yeah. on the show, so they talked okay. about it together on the show, and everyone's. And apparently, out it was it. a lot bigger of a thing in like Noah and Dixie's relationship than led on. That's why they apparently, like broke that's, up. Yeah, broke. Why they broke up? Are they broke? Yeah, watch this. Dixie and Noah, yeah, they been they been broke up because of this. You want to talk about the Nylea thing? No. <laughs> probably, probably smart. Oh, because I'm right, and she had a crush on you, and then, oh, you're f crazy and gaslit me. Oh, yeah, let's talk about this it. This had nothing to do with me. Don't, you, if you're saying most of the reason the breakup was because of that. It was. That's news to me. I knew you, that that. No, you knew that. So the, 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 the Nadea stuff when was we were so in non-existent. Oh, what, yeah, you were going to let what her did I do? I didn't to touch that. your face? No. Wait a minute. Oh, yikes. yikes. They're filming together after the breakup. breakup. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That was That's awkward. That makes me that makes me think that the mellow is a diabolical. It, it, they're, just, they're just so crazy that they'll they'll do anything, huh? Yeah, if you're willing to put you back in the room and do an interview post breakup, that's kind of nuts. Yeah, yeah. That's like I hate that putting two bulls, light, two bulls in a room. You hate gaslight. See what happens. I I I it's been co-opted by females. It's not always true. It's like 
If you say it's raining and it's 80, 80 and sunny, I'm like, that's crazy. It's not raining. I'm not gaslighting you. I'm just saying like. <laughs> yeah, people fact, found out the word and they just really ran with it. Yeah, they love it. They love it. I'd like to see a lot. I'd like to see a lot of these people that are, are arguing because we've just done like three stories in a row where people are battling each other. See each other at, at the crown jewel, uh, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> No, uh, what's the date again? Damn, dude, I, I'm terrible. You're talking for UFC? No, for for WWE uh, on November. 5th. Oh, you're doing. Look, you're throwing up. Oh, promo. he's throwing Your a boy. little little sly Adam promo. Logan Paul against the entire bloodline, Roman Reigns, for the title of the WWE in Saudi Arabia. I could totally see Dixie on that card. I could see Travis Scott on that card. That is where. You know, in indiscretions are decided in the ring in WWE. I'll put it. I'll just put it like that. What Beautiful. a promo! The way that was brought to was and good. delivered was, was just you, uh, chef's who, kiss. Who's chef's kiss. Con, con. Are you calling me a con man? No, con. Man. <laughs> WWE guy. No. Uh, con. What, Kane. Tony. Tony Khan. Dave is no. still clapping. <laughs> Michael Caine, the actor from the nineteen. Oh, 19- guy runs you, the run guy runs WWE. No, he's AEW. No, there's a no, who's the other guy? Well, the guy run Triple H is running WWE right now. Yeah. But, but hold on, can we just can we just stop this for one second? Logan Paul is fighting for the title of the. I w- didn't know he was dating Nina Agdal till today. Wait, Logan Paul is fighting. He's fighting. Yeah, he's Bro, a wrestler. What? Logan Paul. I saw you. Incredible. I saw you. I saw paparazzi pics of Logan Paul and Nina Dahl. I saw little Mike Malak in the background getting a little shot. Wait, who's Nina? Who's Nina? <laughs> She's been photoshopped. Super Those could have been photoshopped. You never know the distance paparazzi are willing to go for the shot nowadays. Mm. I have no. I have nothing to say about any dating rumors. All I'm saying is this: Saudi Arabia. That's not a rumor. They're dating. No. <laughs> I can never keep track of where we are in the in the press cycle. I, I think, yeah, I think they're dating. I think so. I, I don't know. Hasn't he been like off and on with this Nina girl though? Isn't oh, she very, been like very, a- very attractive. She was like a SI girl when I was growing up a little bit, or my yeah. age, I guess. Not growing up since I'm way older, but uh, <laughs> she's awesome. I've gotten to you know spend a little bit of time with her, obviously, and and she's she's a cool chick, um, super down to earth. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know exactly what their uh, what their relationship is like. I know they like to go to the beach in Miami. Yeah, that's where I saw the pictures. Mr. Beast cancels his giveaway. Mr. Beast cancels his giveaway of telling grocery store he's going to pay for everyone's groceries at the store the following day. Mr. Beast said the employees of the store were telling people to come back the next day because Mr. Beast was coming and was going to buy out the store. Then he had to cancel it because security said there were way too many people and it would be unsafe. That makes sense. I, I, I got to side with Mr. Beast on this. He's what? too nice. Mr. Beast is too nice of a guy to ever do something, I think, like maliciously or be like yeah, try so to set up a giveaway and take him? it away. Yeah, the internet's mad because they're saying he owes the store money. Whatever. Yeah, no, well, he doesn't owe anybody about anything. Well, the yeah, we know the internet's always mad. The internet's just mad, always. <laughs> uh, Cody Co didn't attend Noel's wedding. I thought this was crazy, this dude. Was I saw this, to and me. it kind of, it kind of actually hurt as a Cody Co and Noel fan. Like me and my boys used to get high as fuck in high school, and all of us would like cram into this like barn my buddy had in his backyard and we put up cody cohen noel miller videos on uh this like projector screen we had the we and these are who uh, we had oh, on come this on. no i don't do that Bree. that like dude that that's a great those two no, are no no, no i'm saying that was his series was called that's cringe yeah 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 yeah. she was talking about the series oh, it, that just went right over so guys thanks so much no that just went phew <laughs> What uh? <laughs> wait, <laughs> Did, we Damn have it, these. Bro. We have these I'm two like, on our show. Yeah, we go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, we have. That's crazy. They they they've done videos together forever. Ever. This yeah, is like ever. this is like me. You know how like uh, Drake Bell, uh, like Drake and Josh didn't go to each other's weddings. That's like this right here for me. This is yeah, my but this is way worse that. because this they, is real. They, people people knew that they didn't. People knew Drake and the other guy didn't like each other. This, it was presumed they were very good. It would more be like if Logan got married and Mike didn't go to Logan's wedding. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yes. do you think there, because, because what, Cody was claiming that he had a, a, a another a prior They were work, saying that uh, it was, it was family only, but like your best friend is your family and they go to your wedding. That, yeah, that's if crazy. Logan was getting married and someone told me that was family only. I'm, I'm busting your into family. That yeah. And regardless of, uh, of any like work gig, I'm going to that wedding. You know what I'm saying? So oh, maybe there's yeah. something maybe there's something deeper. I hope not, because I love those guys and I think that they're I think they've of one of the Of course there's something deeper. Of course. Yeah. I mean, there has to be. 
But um, don't they still do their podcast together and everything? Yeah. Yeah, they could just be co-workers. Uh, this was crazy. I saw Josh. I saw this as well. Very funny. This, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. This Somebody has to go save. Put him in a cage. Something. Yeah. yeah I, I, I noticed this. I noticed this. I saw his video. First thing that popped to my head was your daughter and her boyfriend so we're dressed talking up as about that last Monty year. Monty Lopez. Here's the oh video. Oh, my God. What are you going to do? Are you going to kill me, oh. Mr. J? Oh, I'm not going to kill you. No, nah, just wait a second. Wait a second. Watch, 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 watch. Yeah, that's... Someone had to think. This is, this is fucking crazy, right? Crazy. Thank wow, you. Wow. I did not know about that part, dude. Yeah. Weird, Yo, right? man, I just... Feel I bad, just right? Feel bad for Addison, uh, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like, like, dude, because between that and, like, even, like, the Young Gravy shit, like, like, they're... It, it seems like the like the entertainment world and Hollywood and the internet just knows no boundaries. And and like, oh. dude, honestly, even like for you guys, like not not me and Dave, but like you know, I just I just feel for a lot of these people that are coming up at such a young age in the space and having this particular space and culture mold the way you look at the world. Because as um sweet baby sweet Holland Rays or whatever that girl was at sweet, Travis, young, young sweet row. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, you know, as raised. she said, and she's kind of right, the internet really isn't a real place. And at some point, Addison is going to have to come to terms with the fact that her parents have turned this into a fucking, some sort circus. of like reality circus. And it's just so, it's 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 kind of gross, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, kind of. Understatement. That's disgusting. Yeah. Both what her mother did, mother not on this level. The dad is cuckoo. He I mean, that's, it's He's different level too. shit. He just keeps Roland. doing that. Yeah, yeah. I see these videos and it's like, it's like the same thing. It's like, I just wish someone was there to just take his phone away and just smash it, throw it in the sewer drain. Because I saw another video of him. Like, um, I'm, I'm very scared to post on TikTok because I, I just like, it just feels weird. Dave, maybe you could relate to this. Like, I just, I feel like I'm at a playground that I'm not <laughs> supposed to be at. And even if, my content is funny. Like, I don't want to go down that slide with these kids because it just feels weird. Yeah, and I don't. So I don't even I post piece, but I I, I don't like I'm not I I don't really run my TikTok. You like post my like people, clips post of my, your shit. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, do it occasionally, I'll do it occasionally because I know it is starting to age up a little bit. But the one where uh, Monty, he did this thing where his tongue where he was like, ah, ah, like some real like TikTok, yeah. like yeah, shit yeah, yeah, trend. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was I like, no, about. man, someone needs to get this man. They need to take his phone. They need to put it into a volcano, an active volcano, bro. Yeah. I <laughs> don't, you know, sweeping judgment and no offense to anybody, but I also, I, I'm 45 and I'm definitely involved in a younger demo by nature of what I do. You can't be wearing Calvin Klein's like, <laughs> boxers at like that age you just fucking can't what if you're like, like that's like a young dude's brand you what can't. if you're like shredded though what if you're like no old it doesn't and shredded? matter still it, it, no eh no what what do you what do the old guys rock yeah, like what do you rock? or whatever or is no, it a hanes thing fruit of the loom fruit no, of the loom me, okay i have like designer no no big deal my dad's oh my dad humble brag humble brag ah, hold on my, my dad's here dad what type of underwear do you wear Fruit of the Loom, yeah. yeah well, well, those that's a are classic. Really that's a classic. Those are really old. Well, like those Hanes. Are like briefs, too. Yeah, those are like, uh, yeah, no, I wear like Dolce and Gabbana like boxers. They're pretty straightforward. They're comfortable. What? They're good. They're a good brand. But Calvin, that's like wearing Axe deodorant when you're like 40. <laughs> yeah. You know, no one should wear Axe. Like Throw that away. Like your teenager. Kind old of. Spice. Uh, Billy McFarlane, Fry Fest 2.0. And that was a TikTok that is going to try a new project. Uh, I don't really care about any of that shit. We were going to have him on uh, Impulsive, I think, at one point or something to talk about all that. Or one of the guys from, I don't fucking know. Oh, I, I did see. I have a good radar on when you fake laugh on your show. Who is I fake laughing for? I'll the wrestler. Right. Uh, which one? We've had a, a bunch of them on. The Nature Boy. Not Nature Boy. Um, Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. I, we just we just had him on. The show's not even out yet. I saw the clips. You were fake laughing. <laughs> um, ah, that's a I yes. Too, too long of a hesitation. hesitation. Too long of a hesitation. It depends on the it depends on the joke. But 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 let, I can let, tell let, both let, of you do it. I can let, tell when you're genuine, and I can okay. tell when you guys are going with the guest. Okay, let me let me put it like this. I'll I'll make it macro for a second. People like positive energy. 
David Dobrik built a, a career That's of a his fact. friends laughing. Yeah. That's it. It's just a constant video of his friends laughing at shit. A lot of yeah. people picked up on that. It's like it's like a um when you watch an episode of Friends and there's a laugh track. None That's of that shit's right. funny. People are just laughing because everybody else so, is fucking. All right, it's contagious. So, so it's contagious. But listen, are there sometimes you know some jokes where I add a little extra laughing in there and a big smile and the guest is like, "Yo, I really knocked that one out of the park." <laughs> Absolutely, bro. Absolutely, that's showbiz, Dave. That's showbiz. All right, guys, quick commercial break. We've entered fall, and with that comes lots of new changes, a new school year, a new football season, and all the new trends. So why not make all the new opportunities even more intense with the most intense snack? You can make waves with all your new friends with Takis Waves, the thick-cut wavy potato chips with an insane crunch. They're a wave of intensity. And as you're intensely watching football, make sure you're snacking on Takis chips. Classically crispy, insanely intense, or you can level up your tailgating with Takis Kettles, Kettle Cook Intensity. Those are fire. I tried those for the first time a couple weeks ago, and they're so good. So no matter what you're facing, have talkie snacks on hand makes the day so much more intense. Make this moment the most intense season ever with the most intense snacks in the world. Takis face the intensity. Uh, Taylor Swift's new album came out. I thought it was pretty fucking good. I am a Taylor Swift fan. I've been a Taylor Swift fan for a while. Um, I think she's a genius. I also. This ties into the next thing with Kanye. Because I, and right now I'm going to fight. And it goes back to a little bit. It is crazy with the Kanye stuff. Yeah, they oh, dropped shit. it. It took yeah. them long enough. They certainly weren't doing it they to, to send the right message. They waited as long as they could Stock possibly price. wait. Yeah. Stock price. Stock exactly. would dump um, And by the way, it's a tough decision. He makes a fucking shit ton of money. And oh, he makes so much. And be like, oh, I drop him right away out of morals. I'm fucking Jewish and I would have hesitated because he means that much to the bottom line. Yeah. So I don't begrudge them for waiting but it, it was uh financial not a like they give that press release yeah like, they're not we did it. it yeah we did it because we don't stand by it. no you would have dropped them five seconds yeah. after he said it if that was the case anyways i started hating kanye for real <laughs> when he edited the voicemail to taylor swift asking taylor swift it was the lyric like i'm gonna fuck taylor swift uh, taylor swift or something like that one of his songs and and he said, no, I asked Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift said, no, you didn't. Kim and Kanye released an edited phone call that Taylor is like, that's not how that went down. They're like, well, here it is. And then like months later, the full phone call came out and Taylor was telling the truth. They were lying. From that point on, I'm like, these two people are scumbags to do that. And Kanye has had a million things along the way with the way he's treated Kim, David's, you name it. The slavery is a choice, which he backed off from. He's done. He's been given a million trillion excuses. Yeah. So I fucking hate him. And he deserves everything that's coming to him I mean, right Pink, now. I mean, Pink said it in 2009. She was like in a tweet. She said Kanye West is one of the biggest pieces of shit on this planet. Something like that along those lines. So she was early on too. Listen, I mean... That dude has been a massive inspiration to the music space for so long, and it's extremely sad to watch uh, how far he's fallen, dude. It's it, it's extremely sad. Um, I think he he has been hate washed and and just absorbed by this by this hate machine. He's that's, been co opted. He's been co opted a little bit. Yeah. Now 100%. he's also to your point at times extremely lucid and says things you're like oh. That makes sense to a degree. He's a genius. Well, he is a genius. Well, it's but just also sure. a crazy also just, It also just squeezes in right now into this really inflammatory um, thought process that exists in certain niche audiences on the internet, which is they're coming after you. You got it. You got to say whatever, whatever's on your mind. It's, it's Tate 2.0. It's, 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 it's Al Jones. It's the same type of shit. Obviously Kanye is his worst because he really said some fucking nasty shit, but it's this belief that you can say whatever you want. And then when everybody says, yo, that's wrong. You could simply be like, y'all are the matrix. Y'all are corporate owned. No, there's no everybody who has a brain and is over the age of 14 years old knows which side of the argument to be on with Kanye. There's no more questions. There's no more. After DEFCON 3 on the Jews, the right. T-shirt was one thing. There's no more questions. Yeah. Yeah. The only people on the other side of the argument right now 
are conspiracy theorists, 12 year olds and scumbag racists. That's it. And you can pick and you can pick one of those because of free speech in this country. You can be one of those, but be but at least speak up and say that's what you are. Yeah, you're not you know, smarter. You're not smarter than the rest of the world who have collectively decided that this man is sick and needs help. You know I, what? I hope to God, he gets better, bro. I love that fucking dude. That dude was a massive inspiration, bro. But he's out of control right yeah. now. What yeah. What's kind of shocking to me? So I talked about more. I was actually just trying to brag. Be like, I I hated Kanye before. It's cool to hate Kanye. Like, yeah, you always said out, it. I put my hate list out. Like, I don't know, six months, uh, eight months, a year ago, he was on it. And people were like, why is Kanye on him? Like, well, he's a piece of shit. Look at what he did to Taylor Swift. So I was just trying to brag. And I'm getting, like, attacked. People are like, of course you'd hate Kanye. Are you Jewish or this or that? But what's crazy, the political divide in this country, like, I know it. it, it if someone's doing that, I know their political alignment based on what they're saying to me. And Immediate. it's crazy because Immediate. this isn't political. He's just a scumbag. If if you are aligning with him because you're political, you're as big a problem almost as he is mm. because you're just brainwashed. It's like, yeah. this has nothing to do with politics. He's just a piece of shit. That's all there is to it. But and, it they've, is done, crazy. and they've done this, dude. Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm as far away from a lot of the conspiracy theory stuff, a lot of the we're all just part of a simulation, a matrix that's run by these global elites. That might even be true. That might even be true. But I just, I choose not to spend my days letting that shit seep into my system. But at the same time, this divide has been planned. The people are doing to this to us. Like we're, we're fucking being divided and I hate that. And so I, and so I, I actively despise and will continue to work against anyone who further pushes that divide. And going DEFCON 3 on the Jews, no matter why you said that, simply saying that has made you an enemy. You you need to, he needs to fix himself, bro. I think he got, what happened was, I think he got separated from people who truly had the, the best intent for Kanye West. That the, the biggest one was unfortunately when he lost his mother. His mother was everything in his life. And I think it's been nothing but downhill since he lost his mom. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Like, the, I don't know when he lost his mom. Like, and not to go back on Taylor Swift and not to beat this dead, but even the, his actions, which people kind of yeah, laugh. Yeah. When she won that award and you go up and, like, steal the microphone from somebody that had nothing to do with you and kind of ruin somebody, a stranger's moment, like, that's crazy. He's he's acted. And people just gave him a pass. They're like, he's bipolar. He's this, he's that. So they kind of laugh it off. But he, he has done bad some, things some and crazy he's a bad person yeah but where yeah, are those happened. but where are those people now when those same people that gave him a pass because they were because he he was mentally ill he was bipolar whatever when i speak up now and i say kanye is mentally ill he needs help they say what are you talking about you just are against his rhetoric and agenda kanye is not ill those are the same bro kanye has lyrics in his songs when I'm about being off his Lexapro and that's, and yep. you're not going to like him when he's off his Lexapro. It is a well-known fact that Kanye West is mentally ill and, and requires, and now it's a, an obvious fact that he requires some serious fucking assistance to get him back on track. Yeah. Well, Faster it, than that. yes. And, the, but the people who do that, he's there or it's reversed. Like the people are, who have his back now, it's, it, it's not about him. It's the message or co-opting to a degree what he's saying. You know, sure. using it sure. for an agenda that <clears throat> is part of the divide. I mean, he's just, I mean, as Andrew Schultz said, and Andrew Schultz took a lot of heat for it. He's just simply regurgitating the, the you know, what, what the rest of that side has been talking about. He teamed up with Candace Owens. He teamed up with the, a lot of people that are universally looked at as, as divisive and, and hate spewing people. You know what I'm saying? It's just something we need less of it. Whatever side you're on, right, left, Jewish, Christian, whatever it is. And this goes back to what I was saying, even with Tate, we need to start talking to people in a way to other people in a way that is effective to driving conversation and progress forward in this country and in this world. If you're not doing that for whatever reason, whatever pedestal you think you stand on, whatever knowledge you think you have that others don't, you're fucking up. We need to start working together. Yeah, more there's no interest in that, unfortunately. I know, no, but no, like, no. like the, the the people who need to hear that message have no interest in hearing that message. Yeah, right. I feel moving like they're on. So horse blinders yeah. that they Correct. won't even pay attention from to it. Uh, a serious subject to an even more serious subject. Tana Mojo says her type is Jeffrey Dahmer. 
I yeah, that does sound a lot more serious. And the fact that Tana might be more sick in the head for saying that than Kanye West. Just a quick question. Is anyone does that surprise anyone? No. no does no, that no. does her saying no. that surprise anyone? No. <laughs> Not at all. In the Not slightest. at all. Um I love you, okay. Tana. <laughs> I mean, Tan, Tana to a degree, and I said this is almost like Kanye, like, yes, this was the last stone with like the DEFCON 3 and the Jews and it sparked a thing. But I had so tuned out, Kanye, Kanye has as much credibility as Tana with stuff like that. It's like, yeah, that's Tana being Tana. Like, like why people take anything either of them say. Um, okay, BFF Corner. Nessa said that good parts of her and Josh's relationship were for views. Ouch. Oof. Wait, what did she say? Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Here, we'll watch the clip. You were dating Josh Richards. What was your relationship like? The good parts of our relationship was simply for views and content. And it got like really hard for me to process. And so seeing things a certain way was kind of just like, I couldn't understand it. Nice trailer though. <laughs> Did I, you mean, I mean, come on, you're telling me that's not gonna get the people to watch? Yeah, when you great. got all of Spotify behind you, you're gonna get good trailers, bro, for sure. Yeah, for real, but, for but, real. But um, to, to that point, as someone else who has been in a relationship that was extremely uh, and heavily aired public? and watched yeah, in public, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, can, I can completely relate to her sentiment. We, me, me and you know, my ex had a, a lot of great times that weren't off camera, so it's not completely aligned with what she's saying, but um, relate it, it, view counts and the internet and sentiment and all that Hollywood bullshit that um, sweet baby James was talking about. All of that stuff can affect your relationship. There's times where, dude, I had times in the past where me and me and uh, Amra would have massive arguments that normally you'd be like, yo, let's pump the brakes on the relationship. Let's take a three day break. Let, let cooler heads prevail and come back to the table and talk about it in a few days. Where that couldn't happen. Yo, we're on vacation. I got to finish this vlog. I got to finish this vlog, dude. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, you got to you gotta go on this podcast. And like, we got to keep this narrative going. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that things are necessarily fake, but it, it, what I'm saying is that the, the idea of having a public-facing relationship, factors are involved that, nor that people that aren't in the public eye could never fucking understand. So I can completely relate to that. No, yeah, I mean, social media definitely takes a chunk out of uh, of like the relationship that you can have because, especially when it was like we're, we were in different fields, right? Like I'm out here doing stuff all day long where like she was kind of able to sleep in till two o'clock and then go to the studio at whatever, like eight, 10 at night and then be there till 2 a.m. So right. it was like, I'm getting up at eight in the morning. I'm starting calls with like, you know, if I'm going to talk to different venture capitalists or funds or uh, going to invest in a company or doing this, doing that. So I'm on calls all morning. Then she's kind of like, oh, come here, come here, come here. Like, come cuddle. I'm like, yo, it's three, bro. It's three in the day. Like, I hate to break it to you. I got, I got, I got shit to do at right, three right, in the right. day, bro. So it's like, I think it was just, it was just more like we wanted different things. Or so like we were, we were looking for different things. Did that clip surprise you or? Oh, uh, it doesn't. I, I, she says, bro, nothing she says surprises me. Like, I feel like she says shit all the time. She's so back and forth on how she feels. So no, no, it didn't surprise me. It's, did you unfollow her based on that? Uh, I didn't even see that clip until just actually right now. So why'd you unfollow but, her? Oh, because she unfollowed me. I was like, ah, oh, we doing this? All right. Are we doing, doing this, this like, again? I, like, fuck, I guess so. All right. Um, Josh copes by shooting a shot at every girl on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really a coping mechanism. That's just like That's my just mechanism, Josh. I think. Yeah. So are we watching a video? I don't know. There's a lot of links here, man. <laughs> we have new characters Dude, Josh, to unlock. I'm just buried in papers. <laughs> yeah, like I got papers all around me. She did leave me. a wall in my room, but she uh, just came and grabbed oh, it yeah. and then left. Swear to God. Well, we already uh, saw that. Funny. Yeah, we already watched <laughs> yeah, what's this. what's up, girl? You trying to get into bed and... Uh, your own bed. Nah, yeah, get some sleep and shit. <laughs> I was gonna say we already watched this shit. Yeah. So what's the new unlock characters? What is this? Um, I think it's Katie Sigmund, which isn't really a new unlock. I would say that 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 character has been unlocked for a little bit. Um, <laughs> and then whoever Kristen Whitman is and Serena. <laughs> you don't know who they people. are? Nah. I bite my tongue, it's a bad hey, Katie. Uh, Bryce here. I know somebody that starts with a J. <laughs> 
That guy. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't know you're filming me. <laughs> Just guys being guys. Just Josh, guys being kids. Get, Josh, you trying to get locked down again or what? Oh, fuck no, man. Hell no. Nah. Not right now at all. What? All right. And then there's Josh and Bryce fight over one girl. Let's let's. Oh, see Sophie Dossie. Who is this girl? She shoots bow and arrows out of her toes. Oh, yeah. We know this girl. We know this girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, you, what are you texting Sophie right now? Dude, that's just yeah, what somebody. You, you she, know? Girl. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You freak. I'm trying to slide in. <laughs> Can I see the girl? Can I see the girl? Not going to be your, your type, I don't think. What does that mean? I don't know. She just she shoots arrows out of her toes. Does that what sound is like that? I don't know. That sounds that like means, a party trick. To me, you know what that sounds like? She's flexible. <laughs> I hate men. I'm just, I just. I don't oh, hate. wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Why? She's very pretty. No, she's, she's pretty. No, no, she's that's not what I meant. She's gorgeous, but she's gorgeous. I just didn't know if yeah. she would be. Mad fun. All right, whatever. I don't. All right. Uh, well, I didn't mean it in any specific way. Well, she, I, I, what, what? I don't like athletes? No, she's just as I, I think of a departure from your current like vibe. How do you know? Maybe Silvana can shoot arrows out of her feet. Who knows? <laughs> she, she definitely can't, though, right? Wait, can I, no, wait, definitely can, not. Can I ask a question, Josh? Who who's like your core like number one internet crush right now? That if you could like take him on a date, like number one. Damn. Um. Number one right now. I mean, I feel like this is a little bit of a typical answer, but Sydney Sweeney. Bro, yeah, I see that. I see that if answer. Listening, lot, what's up? Bro. Yeah, I know it's a typical answer, but. But she's like, I, I feel I like could, she's a celebrity, like an internet person. No, that counts. Does it? What yeah. about you, Mike? What would your answer be? Man, um, shit, there's just so many nice. Towns people out there. No, 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 no. That ship has sailed, boys and girls. I, has it I, sailed I, fully though? You'll never dip your toe I, back in. I feel in. like you kind of told me oh. not too long ago that was still your you like you're still on that ship, pretty, like I, steering it pretty clearly. You know, I it's still play in that space uh, <laughs> and still shoot like content with them, and but I just I I, I could never say yes or no because who would ever date someone based on their industry you know what i'm saying but like i guess that industry is a little bit like <laughs> different than making that statement i don't know there's this girl man uh super sweetheart bro her name's uh cindy prado and i'm I'm hoping that at some point she she uh i know who that is yeah i'd love if she ever like responded to my dms or anything like that that'd be great <laughs> are you that'd joking so right cool. now or are you already talking to her <laughs> uh no i just you know she's just really cool and just like i don't know i just wish she would she would hit me back you know I feel like that's an inside joke. What about you, Brie? Or can you not answer because you're- Yeah, Brie, I want to hear yours, dude. Well, yeah, I have a boyfriend, but- um... That's what I meant. No, like, I just wanted to make sure that that was your answer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All Checking it out here. for the dude, yeah. making sure hey. you're cool. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she was yeah. ready to answer. <laughs> well, obviously, She's Harry like, Styles. Obviously, yeah. Harry right. Styles. If, that's if, a good answer yeah. because that's impossible. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so out there. It's so out there that, like, your guy doesn't need to be insecure Exactly. Uh, Unless B BTS updates the army BTS fans name flooded us with examples of BTS singing live after investigation or whether or not, whether or not they lip sync. Okay, fine. So do they did they prove it? I don't want to go through it. Justin Bieber, 선배님의 남자친구. Ah, boyfriend. 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 Boyfriend.
it's like perfect American, which surprised well, I feel like, yeah, but I feel like they're, they're, they probably, probably like expertly westernized the, their, their sound, you know, to an extent because they, they've already captured that entire audience on, on, on that side of the world. Yeah. But they don't yeah. talk with, they, they don't talk in a perfect English accent. Let me ask you this question. When a person from the UK sings, that like, was, that's what point. I said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, you don't hear them singing in UK. Like, it's not like, ev- like, Every Sometimes. word that comes out of their mouth, like, like think even like Andrew Tate, once again, not to keep bringing him up, but like, you know, like he only has one out of every six words that are British. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a British word. Just it like- wasn't a put down. I just couldn't tell. Um, all right. Last thing. And then we get out of here. Videos to react to. I don't know what this is. Oh, no, nah, I'm a huge fan, bro. Oh, I'm a huge fan, oh, dog. Nah, ain't me, man. Industry, baby. Nah, nah, ain't me. Wait, what? <laughs> Kareem, I'm a huge fan. Amelia, get out of here. I'm a huge I'm fan, not, dog. I'm not him. <laughs> Young Gravy, huge fan. I'm a huge fan. Crazy. Jack Harlow, huge fan, dude. Oh, thanks, man. Huge fan. Sick album. Hey, Portnoy, huge fan. <laughs> dude, love Barstool, bro. Go Patriots. <laughs> This year, I'm a huge fan, dude. What's up, man? Huge fan. <laughs> Rob, I'm a huge fan, Rob. I'm a huge fan. That's crazy. Chris, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> How long is this going to go? Baby, is it more baby. people? No, it's just for the Dave one. We get it. That's we get funny. It. That guy yeah. that, he, okay. that, that he thought looked like you or like, I, he looked more like that guy from Miami that has like no The, arms the suitcase? Yeah, 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 the suitcase that, dragging that, it around. That, Yo, somebody, uh, somebody from the impulsive teams ran into that guy in Miami the other day. Dude. He's everywhere. He's a. I Miami thought he went legend. to jail a for legend, stabbing yeah. someone with scissors. I don't know that it ever though. sticks. Oh, yeah. Okay. He, he, no he, it's, it's hard to. Yeah, I was gonna say it's kind of hard to cuff a guy like that. That's yeah. True. No, he he gets in trouble a lot, but he's a well known Miami legend. Like yeah, he's you know, a legend. If you walk around downtown, you see him a decent amount. They'll probably uh, throw a parade for him the day he he dies, or the day he gets someone. Um. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for like, having honestly, me back on. Yeah, Mike Gandhi Malak. Like yes, just peace everyone. Sir. Peace, love, a kisses. Gandhi that a Gandhi that loves porn stars. It's a new thing. Hey, I just want to say this too. I, I love this show. I hope you guys keep doing it. Uh oh, thank regardless you. of where your careers take you. I I, I love the the um the 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 variance between the age groups and the conversations and I I think it's a great show. I, I tune into it. Uh you probably right. fucking said that to Sophia with an F. Probably like now great show. I was, I was so watched. happy I when you said that, Mike. Keep killing it. Fake laugh. I really respect. I really respect how you're a treacherous traitor. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, All right. bye. Peace. Peace.